The websites are InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Thank you for joining us. You know, I finally had a chance to listen to the new Muse album. We've had Mr. Bellamy on the show. He is a fan. And it's total anti-New World Order, anti-left-right paradigm. It's about bringing down the New World Order. It's all about eugenics. Megadeth's new album is about that as well, inspired by my film Endgame. And those are just a few of the benchmarks. Jesse Ventura is now completely awake to the New World Order. I woke him up somewhat three years ago. Got him to come out for 9-11 Truth two years ago. Now he's got a conspiracy theorist, quote, TV show that Time Warner has its hands deeply into, but uh, we'll see how that turns out. And he's now fully awake. He says his head spins at night as he learns more and more. And that's what happens for a while. And then you just get upset and focused and dedicated to fighting this system. I'm going to go to James and Chris and Victoria and George and Steve and many others that are holding here in a minute. But uh, I, uh, I just want new listeners to know something. If you're tuning in for the first time, you better get your head out of the sand and wake up fast and study world history and what most governments end up doing to people and learn that tyranny and oppression and bondage are the norm and freedom is very rare. Because it is very upsetting for me to watch innocent people being abused and hurt by the system. It is very upsetting to me to see cancer numbers and autism numbers and all these other degenerative diseases, to know that in thousands of studies, they've known for more than 50 years that vaccines are causing most of the degenerative and early onset and even juvenile onset of arthritis, that vaccine autoimmune reactions are not associated with, it's been proven, that it is causing many of the early onset of diabetes. And I have medical doctor after medical doctor on, and all I want to do is warn people. You know, this is what we know about the government and these big pharma companies. They are doing it by design. There's no other way for me to try to explain that to people. There's no other way that I can even try to get this across to you. And I know it's heavy. And I know that subconsciously you want to divert and distract off into other issues. I understand that. That, that, that people want to rationalize or cognitive dissonance kicks in and people make excuses. It happens over and over again. But I at least want you to know that the world government is now here and it is going to hurt all of us very, very badly. I'm going to go to your calls. Uh, I want to get into the whole health care bill next hour and what's really behind that. And I also want to get into an AP article. There's also a Time Magazine article about weather modification and government weather control. Yeah, we're not in Kansas anymore, folks. And then, like I said... All over the world, government officials are getting special vaccines that don't have the squalene, the mercury, the aluminum, the interleukin-2. Meanwhile, a woman disabled by flu shot reaction, FDA admits, medical doctors admit, she's been paralyzed. She was a cheerleader for the Redskins until she took the shot two weeks ago. It's just the regular flu shot. German soldiers get added to free swine flu shot. The public doesn't. That's just some of the news uh, I've got there. I've got some other important announcements coming up as well. But, uh, you know, the biggest issue here is world government is openly being announced. And it's exactly as we told you it would be announced. 
and I, and let me steal all my thunder here and explain something. I know a lot of you heard me 5, 10, 15, you know, 12 years ago, 13, 14 years ago talking about this, and you laughed at me. But let's just steal the thunder from Alex Jones here real fast because now you know, it's all admitted and our credibility is rising very fast. All I was doing was reading government documents. This is all public. And so now, and they're in the final phases, they're announcing, yeah, it's going to be a private bank. It, it's going to carbon tax you. It's going to have taxes on your money transfers. It's going to shut down all these third world countries where, where you can run to. <laughs> global tax, global regulation, global control. And the cornerstone of it isn't just going to be a Tobin tax or an oil wellhead tax. It's going to be a tax on all human activity. And it's going to be a free-for-all gang raping of the public with locals, the cities, the counties, the states, the feds, the internationals, all putting different taxes on different things. Television sets, beef, chicken, pork, fish, watering your yard, your insulation, your home, your cars, I mean, it's all being announced. Satellite tracker boxes in your cars tracking you. Taxes on your bandwidth, Internet regulation. And it's all being announced. I mean, it, it double. they say they want to double the price of coal day one, which coal is 51% of the power used in this country supplied by coal. It's so diabolical to be living in like a dystopic science fiction novel. I'll be out in Hollywood occasionally at some party I get invited to, and there's these movie stars, and they're right there in front of me talking about how everybody's having surrogates now, and, 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 and you know, people don't have their own babies. They have someone else with, with the embryo implanted another woman. And then I'm back in Austin and find out the yuppies are doing it. I mean, we're, and whether you're for that or against it, man, we're at Buck Rogers, baby. I mean, we got a planetary government jacking the water and the vaccines and bragging about how they're killing us with soft kill weapons. And if you don't know what a soft kill is, you better research it. And then I sit up here and all these fools, I'll tell you what else freaks me out. And we're going to go to break, come right back, and we'll take calls for the rest of the next hour. I'll tell you what really screws with my mind. They don't even hide it. We can go look at the IP addresses of the commenters on InfoWars. And we leave, and, and, and it goes to the Department of Defense, and it goes to their own MySpace, and then there they are on the MySpace attacking me or on their YouTube channel, and they're all shows combat photos of them in Iraq or in other theaters, and they're on there in uniform talking trash about me, saying there's no world government, there's no new world order, I'm a lying traitor. Uh, they go and they comment and try to get everybody fighting with each other on the comment board on InfoWars. They'll, they wait like a shark or piranhas for right when we put new articles up every few hours, they're the first person to comment and they brag on their own sites. Hey, look at how I manipulate these dumb conspiracy people. I go tell them Alex is a Fed and they believe it. And they have these weird Internet brigades on Wikipedia where they give each other awards, how they go out and censor us and how they're attacking us, and they admit they're on government payroll, many of them. I mean, and, and they've now come out and admitted what I reported on over a decade ago, that most TV shows, you, you wonder why there's an anti-gun, anti-family, pro-euthanasia message on TV? It's all government paid for with your tax money. I mean, I'm, I, I can't believe they find this many traitors. These guys in the military, they really think they think the Homeland Security documents we broke that list veterans and gun owners as terrorists are good. They think world government's good. Now, I'm not saying that's our whole military, but these guys hired by the Pentagon to go after me, it's not doing anything to us. All our listeners see right through it. But that's they don't care, though. They want to get you debating and arguing about me 
instead of warning your neighbor about the Gardasil shot or about the flu shot or warning people about cap and trade or warning people about government takeover of health care. They're there just to frustrate us and confuse us and get us infighting with each other. And, and they're just on such power trips when you look at these troops. And they just hate me so much. They hate America. They, they hate everything good. They're, they're such scum. And God help us. We'll, we'll be right back with the uh, second hour.